Hello, I'm Bruce Mallinson, owner of Pittsburgh Power. I've been building turbochargers for 44 years now, and there's always a lot of question. People will say, my mechanic says my, I need to replace the turbo, and I'll say why. He said there's too much play in it, and what people do is the turbo's already on the truck, and we're going to do a video of one on an engine. But they take off the rubber elbow coming into the turbo, they reach in here, and then they pushing it back and forth. You have to realize the bearings are actually bushings and they're on the shaft and they're centered with oil pressure and the shaft is centered with oil pressure. So it, at the turbo actually spins, the turbine shaft spins in oil. So you don't just reach in here and grab and pull. You do it, not naturally, the turbo has to be cool. You drop the exhaust pipe you take the elbow off and you reach in and you grab and you pull and you turn the wheels as you're pulling both of them towards you or pushing them away from you or picking up on them. Okay. <clears throat> so then for end play, you push it back and forth. And this turbo is brand new and it's showing right now and it'll have oil in it, thick heavy oil for, from when it's assembled. So they're showing five to six thousand cent play, and we'll show you on this dial indicator. But normally, on a turbo that has miles on it, you see about ten thousand cent play. And when you push back and forth, you should hear a click, click. If you hear a thump, thump, then yeah, the turbo is a problem. But you push on the turbine wheel, and you push it forward, and you push on the compressor wheel, the fresh air wheel, and you push it backwards, and then you rock them back and forth. And again, you pull up, push down, pull towards you, push towards the engine. That's how you check it. And then if you hear the wheels hitting the housing, then you have either a bearing problem or a thrust washer problem. So I know most of you aren't gonna have this Dow indicator, but you can put a Dow indicator on it, set it to zero, and then you push it back and forth. So we have it set so you can see the Dow indicator. Now keep in mind, the turbos are built with heavy oil, sometimes STP or Lucas oil stabilizer is what we prefer. And so you can see, I'm only able to move it about four thousandths. But on a turbo that has miles on it, that Dow indicator will move about 10 or 12. But again, you push backwards and turn, you push forward and turn, you pick up and turn, pull towards you and turn, but you pull on both wheels the same way. None of this just reaching in and grabbing this and walking it up and down and pushing hard on it to see if you can make it hit. That is not how you do it. You have to pull both wheels. All right, so here we have another brand new turbo mounted on a four and a quarter B. Caterpillar engine that we're doing it out of the chassis rebuild, but So this is how it will be on your truck and you want to check to see if it's hitting you grab both wheels And you pull them towards you you push them away from you you pick up and you push down you don't do this you do All both in the same direction and then for end play you push the compressor wheel compressor wheel compressor housing turbine wheel turbine housing you push it back and you push it forward and naturally you're going to hear a little click click because that's your five to ten thousandths end play and you have to have that end play because the compressor wheel does spin when you're pulling a hill at 110,000 rpm plus and so the wheel actually grows so there has to be clearance in there and the wheel and shaft rides on oil and right now the only oil that's in here is oil that when it was assembled so there'll always be play do not let your mechanic take the elbow off and reach in with his big paw and pull this wheel up and down and back and forth and say hey you need a turbo you have too much slop that is not how you check it you have to check it with both hands pulling towards you 